The turbulence of unknown anxiety sharks through me as she stands before my Easter Island head waiting for an answer. Well, where were you, she explodes. I was there according to our plan and your space was as empty as a cadaver's eyes. I am heating up for I don't remember the date, the day, the face. The last picture I have of the night before in the bar I frequented much too much was my saying to myself, one more drink and I am home. But that was obviously not the last drink and this is not the only time time has abandoned me. When I drink, I perform. I do improvisational spoken word. A few drinks and I am on stage in the silk coat and a top hat in the center ring linguistically dancing with the poets. A little Blake with the color and godly demand that travels through him like the A train. A little E.E. -E and that blue eyed boy circling on the white pony of death. And of course, Sylvia P. in the jar of bells. When I start ranting, I can't stop. The words push through me like bullets, and the target is whoever is in front of me, staring at this engine, this generator of sound, a canvas being painted upon with the words of manic desperation. And I know she is into me as much as I am into myself, <laughs> losing myself in the dark, deep well of my tortured clock. I can't stop. Memory is obliterated by the chokehold of alcohol. Place and time is just another rhyme. I am unconscious but standing. The tsunami of the alphabet clings to my soul like barnacles biting, infighting, owning my night. Hey, she fires, standing in front of me, bringing me back to now. A frontal assault on my fragile and irresponsible anatomy. <laughs> Are you with me? Are you here, you hollow, pathetic loser? <laughs> She turns with conviction and strength, like a ballet dancer, perfectly balanced between victory and revenge. Her ferocious meteorite of released energy fills the lower third of my hungry biology, and I think I want her. My organ box damaged sexuality kicks in and kicks open the tightly closed doors that protect my rarely entered Elysian fields. Is it rejection that turns me on? I call on God with its casket eyes to throw me back into the past out of harm's way. What is the depth? the debt I must the debt I must pay before I find and sing out my name. I am on the Freudian hunt, searching the inclined planes of the immortal wounded child's cat's cradle. Hanging on a web of fragile tinsel strength, I am a paper sail, caught in a storm of broken memory and boastful fantasy. None of it real, all of it lost behind the eyes of a man-child begging for freedom from a moment too painful to ever be recalled from its well of hypodermically planted self-denial. Mm. Knowing we could have shared intimacy attacks my solar plexus with an ache of longing, a penetrating pain of what might have been if only I was there not trapped in the need to perform, the need to be paid attention to, the need to be loved, an orphan in the emotional storm. Loser, loser, self-abuser. I find a bar, I drink, I die a little. Wow.